Uh, let's please be seated. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, second post game press conference. Uh, we're now talking to finalist uh, team Alali, talking to Coach Augustin. Jill B. Bosch and Ahab Amin. Thank you guys, gentlemen, for making time to talk to the press. Uh, you know the drill. Introduce yourselves, name, press organ, one question per journalist. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Thank you so much. My name is Claire and I work for Paragon. My question goes to Amin. First of all, congratulations for a final spot. Uh, you almost lost it, but here you are. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think you would do? to correct the, the, the mistakes that almost pushed you this game, because as we know, you're looking forward to gaining or getting your first, I mean, your, your trophy in the BAL. Uh, what are you going to do as a team, based on today's uh, teamwork? What are you going to do to correct the mistakes that almost cost you today's final spot in the game? Thank you. Thank you, first of all. Uh, I mean, tomorrow is a tough one. Yeah, English. I mean, tomorrow's probably going to be a tough one, You're a coach. <laughs> It's going to be on us, definitely. I mean, uh, we did a better job, I think, in the second half, uh, boxing out and adjusting. Uh, but I think Coach will, will get us ready for the Saturday game. It's going to be a very tough one. Obviously, uh, they're a very good team. They've got a lot of good guards. Uh, but I think we got to do a better job finishing out the game and closing out. Of course, a lot of missed free throws at the end and stupid fouls. I don't want to talk about officiating, but stuff, maybe uh, it's... I don't know. No comment on that, but yeah. Okay, let's have another question. You know, some CSP in Africa. Uh, I feel like there were a good few pressure situations in the game where you made the difference for your team. And you're someone who's been dealing with those for a very, very long time. Um, how important is that experience that you bring to the table of these high pressure situations heading into the final? I mean, for us as a team, I think that's uh, one of our advantages. We played a lot of finals with coach, and we've been in these situations before. On the winning side and on the losing side, uh, we just came from the finals, the Super League in Egypt, like less than a week ago. All the games were very tough and very close. So I think uh, we're a very close group. And uh, even Nuni, Corey, and uh, Michael that haven't been us all year, um, like came up, came together with us. And uh, I think that's... Uh, a great advantage for us that we've been through a lot together. Bonsoir. Coach, on vous a vu pousser une gueulante lors d'un premier tournoi en première mi-temps. Pourquoi étiez-vous autant insatisfait de vos joueurs à ce moment du match? Parce que le match était encore quasiment inévitable. In the first half time, Coach, I think first quarter, we, um, we, we saw you kind of upset, irritated, and you know, talking to your players. So like a, a growl out cry, tell us a little bit about that and why are we so upset just in the beginning of the game? That's um, that's me. <laughs> that's, that's how I am. If I say something that I don't like, I have to say it and I have to sometimes say it in a nice way. And sometimes I get, uh, I, I may overreact like I tell them in the halftime. Uh, in the halftime, like we got together and and try to have a positive a positive look to each other me to the players the players between between them so that was the that was the thing but i think overall like, uh, we have or from my perspective we have a lot of things uh, to be worried because we get we, we we could play better we could have done things better and that's what made me maybe a little bit more uh, overreacting than any that some other times ça fait ma personnalité hein, euh, est satisfait. Je parle, je gueule avec les gens quand il le faut. Grosso modo. Yes, Queen? Introduce yourself in Oregon, please. Queen, um, right for Oregon Sports from Nigeria. Um, Coach, this is like your second final in the BAL, mm -hmm. and you're on course to winning your second BAL title. How much of this win is important to you? And how much of an effort are you putting to achieve this year? Because it's going to be an historical one for you as a coach. And also for, for Halal winning their first. But well, first mm. of all, for you mm. winning your second BAL. That's, for me, that's thinking too much ahead of time. Uh, we just finished the game. We have to 
uh, understand the things we did wrong, we did wrong, and understand how the new the opponent, because everybody was expecting Petro, and and so now we have uh, an opponent that plays as tough as Stade Malien or more. Uh, so yeah, there is the possibility of Ahli winning the championship. There is the possibility of me as a coach winning the second championship, but this is uh, too far ahead for me. Thank you. Oh, we, we still have more questions. Okay, let's have the full line. Hi, Coach uh, Lindsay, ESPN. Um, I was wondering, building on, I guess, the experience of the team and the amount of time they've played together, um, your bench depth as the game went on seemed to be really valuable. Like, what, how much do you think the depth of your bench and the overall team's ability to score all team a factor. Yeah, I, I agree. We are, we are lucky to have a, a long, a deep, a deep roster uh, with players that all of them can uh, perform at a high level. I don't know, maybe we have six, seven national team players and then like all the players who came uh, to have the team are also good players. So yeah, it's about uh, dealing with this. Sometimes we play with a longer roster. Maybe today at the second half, we shrink a little bit. We play with less players. Uh, it's just uh, feeling the game, which players can perform better. That's uh, part of our job. Uh, sometimes, I, most of the times, I, I like to give the opportunity to play to all the game, to the, all the players, at least in the first half, and then decide who I feel better for the game. But, but it's an advantage for us, for sure, uh, to have uh, such a long roster and, and with such a quality players. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Congratulations on me. Uh, mine is to you again. Uh, what is your name and order? Um, Edwin Ashinge. I work with the Times. Thank you. It's a local news agency. Well, it must be obvious that um, tensions between your players might affect negatively your performance. He was visibly seen on court trying to calm down your fellow teammates. I mean, to what extent does that cost you as a team, not just you individually, when you don't get your pace together? I'm, so, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? The, um, um, the some situations where you're, you're calming your teammates and some disagreements, how, how does that affect the game? Correct. I mean, that's definitely part of the game. Uh, we're all teammates, and that's how we, we're probably even worse in practice. You can ask coach, and uh, that's how we are as a team, and I think it's one of our advantages. Uh, we get on each other, but at the same time, we're all in this for one, and it's winning games and winning the championship, and I think that's one of our, also of our advantages that uh, at the end of the day, we all want the same things to win, no matter who's playing, who's shooting the ball, who's rebounding, who's passing. So I think it's uh, we got a lot of vets and a lot of very good experienced players uh, in the whole roster. Some of them even uh, don't even play much minutes, but they're, they're very valuable to the team. So I think that's one of our advantages that we, we get together and uh, stay as one. All right, let's take one last question from Francois. Uh... Coach, donc vous avez dit. Euh, François, euh, dis-le. Oui, pardon. François, dis-le. Coach, vous avez dit justement, vous attendiez à ce que ce soit Petro en finale. Et tout le monde s'attendait à ce que ce soit Petro et à l'armée en finale. Euh, Est-ce que, qu'est-ce que vous en pensez d'ailleurs Est-ce que vous êtes content du fait que Petro ne soit pas là um, Coach, everybody was expecting, like you rightly said, um, Petro against Al Ali in the finals. So what's your uh, global opinion on that Are you happy that Petro is in there uh, what, what's your global thought on that when you open in the finals this Saturday? Everybody was way expecting this since Cairo Games. I have been asked about Petro since Cairo Games, so uh, about being the contenders. This is a game, and I said, I think in a couple of press conferences in Cairo, where we have to respect every team and every player who steps on the court. The co when coach puts a player on the court, it's for a reason. He has some qualities and we have to respect them. I'm not going to say that we didn't respect them, but maybe we didn't understand uh, the game in the first half. I have said we didn't box out in the first half. We did much better job in the second half. Uh, so understanding the game. And now we have a different opponent. I'm not 
happy or unhappy about like i i don't um think too much ahead and i just prepare for the next opponent if they beat petro if duans beat petro it's for a reason they play better they beat them and they have their qualities and we have to get prepared for for a final a tough final will be will be very physical very very demanding thank you coach welcome thank you gentlemen thank you thank you thank you